All right, we're back here. I actually ran out of storage on my phone, so I had to free up some space. But that uh, that made me think about uh, well, you know, what we're talking about is juice fasting. Uh, we're talking about clearing out the crud that's in your system to make way for uh, new, better things that serve our lives better and yeah. make us feel better than um, you know what was left over. So it's kind of like uh, the storage on your phone, and eventually <laughs> there's just no more space yeah. for any more new content, even if it's great content. Yeah, you got to clear out some of that content and allow create some space to uh, allow for some new experiences and some growth, right? <clears throat> and it's kind of like this is what fasting is about in general. Um, you know, yeah, we run out of. We run out of space and then that's where disease develops. It's like, you know, no more room left. So it starts pushing the waste matter back into the cells. Mm -hmm. um, so you were, uh, before the phone cut off, you were talking about, um, oh yeah, there's no fiber on a juice fast. Uh, you know, there's, I hear like a lot of mixed opinions on this. People say, oh well, you can't really detoxify the liver without fiber so uh, but at the same time I think you're doing wonders for your kidneys probably right and you're getting such an abundance of nutrients that you wouldn't get if you just ate the fruits and vegetables that you're juicing because uh, right. it would take a lot longer to eat all of them right uh, you would fill up faster so right like I can drink I can eat 20 pounds of fresh produce through juice, but I can't eat that 20 pounds as solid material. And so you are, you know, especially if you're following um, the John Rose method and any method that suggests that you drink at least one gallon, ideally one to two gallons. Um, for me, it's, it's anywhere between two and three per day. Um, and you're getting a, a, an insane amount of nutrients and they're really easy for your body to absorb right it's not having to do any digestive work and that's why breaking the fast is you know it's a it's part of the challenge um, and you have to challenge yourself to, to experience something new and establish a new reference and to feel something different and find a new way and allow yourself to grow so um, in breaking the fast, you have to slowly, gradually reacclimate to consuming solids and digesting. Because your your digestive muscles, they sort of go into, they go to sleep for a while. And that's part of what allows them to heal is they're resting, but they're being treated with a lot of really healthy nutrients that, that help them heal during this resting period. Um, so the suggestion for breaking it is the, f and, and I've done this, you break it over six days, um, if you've done 30 days or more. For the first two days, you eat one meal, eight ounces of soaked prunes, so rehydrated prunes. You soak them overnight. It really softens them up. You drink the, the water. And it it's really good. It tastes like uh, like a prune tea. It's really nice. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, and those pass very easily. So you're you're starting out with something that's super easy to pass, right? And ideally, you should see that come out multiple times throughout the day, and be cleared out by the end of the day. It's like really interesting that you can kind of uh, know exactly what it is that's coming out of you. Yeah. Um, just because your system is so clear, I mean, you know, it's not even a guessing game, really, right? Right. Uh, now, like, how, I mean, so how did you, how long did you see solid coming out of you for while you were doing yeah, the fast? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, yeah, so we'll talk a little bit more about the experience during the beginning phase of the fast. Um, solids still coming out after day 20. Wow. Um, so that's that's a really 
you know, that's a that's a sure sign that. I mean, that's not juice. Right? That's not juice. That's that's were, stuff were that's stuck using, to the walls of your intestines. Were you using a sieve or like were you um, straining the juice at I all? I did have a strainer. Yeah. Um, sometimes I wouldn't strain it, so there's definitely some of the f the fiber that got through the juicer mm -hmm. in in what came out in that poop. Um, but you could tell just by looking at it the color right right something that's old and festering is like rusty or black or dark and it, it has no representation of its original form right um and that's how you can tell it's really old really old stuff you know you know what happens you your digestive system it, it's a closed tunnel right and so when you feed it stuff that doesn't get through and then you put more stuff on top of that it compacts and it creates a lot of pressure and all that pressure pushes that sticky fatty uh, stuff you know that nasty gunk up against the walls of your intestines right and sure eventually it'll it'll pass but it's gonna leave behind some remnants on those walls and so you know even if you were to go straight from like a hyper processed animal product um, based diet to a whole foods plant-based diet it's still not going to be easy to pass and, and still stuff is going to be catching on those you know gunked up walls of your intestines and so and like a lot of people state. Uh, a lot of people maybe not as much um, people in our age group but particularly people like uh, 40 and over, the, well, the average American 40 and over has already developed uh, diverticulitis, mm. right? So they have blowouts. Yeah. Um, big, like, round, uh, sometimes even the size of golf balls, probably at blowouts out of their intestine mm -hmm. because of the pressure, lack of fiber in their diet. And, like... Interestingly enough, you know, like a, a juice fast, which doesn't have any fiber, but it, it is all liquids going through your system with nutrients, mm -hmm. is what will help heal that s situation. Um, you know, that is, I'm going to just put the disclaimer that that's anecdotal. Yep. Uh, but, you know, I, it's just that I've heard so many good things. You're not going to see a lot of science about this yet because there's not a lot of money in it. Um, I'm pretty sure Hippocrates Health Institute, along with probably some other similar uh, raw food healing programs, might use juice fasting and, and can report a lot of positive outcomes for people who have diverticulitis. but. Yeah, like I said, there's not a lot of, there's no money to be made here. It's, you, you, don't, you can't put a brand on this treatment. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's not a medication that can be made in a lab. Right. It's uh, a natural, holistic solution. Right, and I mean, you know, every, you know, uh, spiritual culture for, you know, thousands of years has been using some form of fasting to heal people. Um, you know, back in the day, it was water fasting because the water wasn't destroyed like it is now, you know, after the chemical revolution. Yep. If you think about it, like, our water has only been poisoned since, like, 1945. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, our, our grandparents kind of grew up on good... B12 rich water. Yeah, mineral rich, clean, non toxic water. I mean, you think maybe uh, it wasn't as clear looking, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it was bad, you know? Yeah, no. Uh, but yeah, so, okay, so you've lost like 15 to 17 pounds. You lost like a couple inches on your waist. Yep. You need to get some new clothing. Yeah, I gotta get some new pants. Um, your energy? Talk about your energy. Um, so my energy has been a lot more consistent. Um, I wake up earlier with more energy right away. I don't. There's not as much uh, lag time starting my day. Um, I kind of just wake up and I'm ready to go. I feel much lighter, of course, 
being cleared out. Um, and I don't have to rely on other stimulants like coffee um, and, and stuff like that to get me through the day. And that allows me to really, it really improves the quality of my moment, you know, it's, I'm not always seeking that, that next quick shortcut, um, that next pleasure to kind of get me through the day. Um, it's, it's like, I don't know, I have the energy right now to live in this moment and to execute whatever I'm doing, um, whatever I'm trying to create or accomplish, whether it's at work or or anything. I uh, notice that when I do a day of just juices, and it actually happens even when I'm just purely raw, yeah. um, you know, several days in a row consistently, is I'll get, uh, I'll just get these bursts of euphoria, mm, you know? Yeah. It's a, it, it, I mean, it feels like drugs. Like, yeah. it really does, and it's, but it's, but it's totally, uh, you know, organic. It's totally, I'm guessing, from the food that I'm eating. Yeah. Or maybe it's just from the lack of bad things in my body. Yeah. Well, and it's investing in your long-term health. You know, and plants are drugs. All, all of our drugs, are, all the synthesized drugs, they come from, from plants. Right. They send people, pharmaceutical companies send people into the Amazon to find compounds. Yeah. Penicillin comes from mushrooms, you know, a lot of our strongest, most trustworthy, tried and true um, antibiotics and, and other drugs, they, they all come from plants, you know, they do. Um, but often the reason we have to use them is because we've self-inflicted a lot of damage, you know, and that damage causes disease, and then we've got to take, we try to take a shortcut to patch up that damage um, when it could have just been prevented in the first place. Um, and when you try to take one shortcut, then it has side effects and you've got to add more to that um, to, to help you with those side effects. You see people with heart disease, they're on like 12 different medications, right? Um, but you're seeing a lot more of these holistic practitioners that put people with heart disease on a whole foods plant-based diet right and which the is results are astounding which is now um by the way i can say there is science for that uh it is it is scientifically proven so, that so far the only diet shown to not only halt but actually reverse heart disease is a whole food plant-based diet free of extracted oils and refined uh sugars and and processed food um and it's not necessarily even a raw diet uh they did it with cooked foods yeah. but if you if imagine um if that's what you can do with a whole food plant-based diet that's cooked imagine what you can do with raw food you know what i mean like uh I just, you know, hopefully someday someone, uh, some philanthropist is willing to put in uh, money to get studies done about raw foods um, and about juice fasting. Um, so I, I just want to backtrack real quick. Yeah, certainly. Because uh, we, so we were talking earlier about, um, you said you still saw solids coming out after about 20 days, when did that, uh, did that ever let up or when did it start becoming primarily, uh, just juice, you know, that was just juice? Um, I think around like the 24th or 25th day, it was, it was majority just juice. And then sometimes a little bit of the fiber that would get through the, the juicer into the juice that, you know, I, I didn't always, I didn't feel the need to really strain that stuff out. Yeah. Cause I could tell that that's what it was right when it came out it was the color of what it was when it went in you know so if i if i drank a bunch of carrot juice and some of the carrot fiber got into the juice i could see the the orange carrot fiber that's interesting so like it kind of and it's not like you're emaciated or anything i mean you look good like and you had you lost that weight so it's almost like 
because you were getting calories and you were also getting nutrients, you weren't necessarily losing too much glycogen or too much uh, fat or too much muscle mass. It yeah. could have been purely, uh, well, as John Rose puts it, the, the serpent in your belly. Like, yeah. Yeah. you know, the basically just the stuff that was in, that was backed up in your intestinal tract. Yeah, John Rose reports that the average um, North American on a, a Western animal product diet has anywhere from 10 to 15 pounds of backed up material in their system, right? So majority of it, for me, um, having followed that type of diet for majority of my life, it was probably just backed up material that I flushed out. And I, I certainly could see it all coming out. It was incredible, the amount of stuff that was coming out. I, at first, you know, I was shocked. It was like this revelation that all this stuff had been inside of me just festering, you know, just releasing toxins and putting my body into a state of battle with itself, you know, and it... It caused a lot of unnecessary exhaustion. Um, yeah. um, just so before I forget, I sure. remember you said you. Uh, I I remember you had had um, some skin stuff going on before this juice fast. That kind of cleared up a little bit. Yeah. So on my elbows, both of my elbows. Um, I never got it checked by a dermatologist. I remember seeing those. Yeah. It was just like a... Just very a dry. Callus, right? Yeah, you know, it might be some form of eczema, but super dry and bubbly and rough. Um, and sometimes like it got kind of dark almost. a little bit. Did um, it got a little dark at all. It would, it would like layer up and kind of scab up. And it was itchy, and sometimes it would crack and even hurt. Okay. Um, but that's I mean, gone. They look, they're I mean, clear. They're just... They're clear. They're totally gone. And that's so the other thing you're talking about water right we, we're water vessels you know large majority of our system is made up of water i don't know i forget what the percentage is yeah like uh 70 percent or something yeah so uh, most people i say the average modern person doesn't consume nearly enough water throughout the day and if they are like you said earlier a lot of it's not very clean uh, or it's been sitting in plastic bottles for long lengths of time, uh, absorbing the toxins from that, you know, or it's rich in heavy metals, whatever. So the juice fast solves for dehydration because if in order to maintain your lifestyle and sustain your energy on a juice fast, you have to consume one to two gallons of juice per day, that's plenty of water. Right. You're getting all the water you need, so you're ultra hydrated. And that's clean, mineral-rich water. Right, it's, it's actually iron, ionized and structured. Naturally ionized and structured, because we know the root system uh, has a filtration process. And, and distilled. Yeah, and distilled, yeah. Um, so that's, that's one of the factors that contributes to clearing up your skin. Um, if you look at a lot of pe other people that have experienced the juice fast, they'll tell you if they had a skin condition, it's gone the majority of the time. Um, my skin is much softer. Uh, I don't have a dry scalp anymore. Uh, my breathing is better. My, my congestion is a l like way less frequent. Um, really only when I come, become exposed to a lot of dust do I get congested. Um, and I used to wake up with a lot of congestion. Um, so it really just, it clears you out, it hydrates you, it gives your digestive system that's been fighting, your whole system that's been fighting itself for all these years, a chance to rest and heal and recover, you know, um, and shift back towards its original position. And then you start making educated choices as to what you're exposing your system to, what you're consuming. And because you're starting out with this clean slate, you really feel the effect of whatever you choose to consume. Mm -hmm. So you become a lot more conscious of what you're putting in and how long it takes to come out. Because ideally you put something in 
and it comes out same day, uh, you know, a few hours later, and you can see it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It has some resemblance of its original form, the color and seeds, you know, whatever it might be. So, are you going to be um, pursuing a hundred percent raw diet, or as close to it, or what? What does the future look like for you once you finally <laughs> uh, are able to break this fast? Which I, sounds like you're having too much fun to even <laughs> stop. Um, well, like I said earlier, the the breaking has been difficult, and I've tried to break it twice now. The first time, I didn't do my research. I was so excited to eat. I was like, I got the 30 days. Let's eat. You know, and I figured as long as I'm eating raw plants, I, I can eat whatever I want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. um, that was a foolish way to do it because my digestive system wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. um, now, I after I do break it successfully and I, I reboot the digestive system to processing solids, I plan to pursue 100% raw diet. It just is what my intuition tells me, you know, and the fact that doing 100% raw juice fast has shown such clear results in my, I mean, I feel it, you know, right. I really feel it. It seems to make sense that I would consume just raw uh, plant-based whole foods, you know. It's really... This really is, is like inspirational for me. Um, is that your alarm? Yeah, it is my alarm. Let me just grab it. Just because, um, I'll be honest, like even I struggle on the raw diet. Um, I do eat some cooked food and I keep it um, under 10% of my calories, and if I ever push it over that, uh, I end up regretting it. I have, I do have adverse effects, which is really the thing that uh, keeps me on the uh, high raw diet. Um, and what I eat when I do eat cooked food, I, I try and it, it's mostly just. Uh, bean uh cooked beans or legumes and i really won't stray much further than that yeah you know um i can be bad i can be bad sometimes but like i said uh i know my consequences now so it really keeps me on the straight and narrow for the most part yeah yeah in in rebooting your system and, and all of your alarm systems right because any negative symptom is it's an appropriate symptom it's right. not inappropriate it's your body just telling you something is wrong and that you need to make a change that you make, need to make an adjustment right you know to allow for some movement to happen um, and so doing something like this really does put you in a in tune with that alarm system um, and the symptoms become more obvious and it, and it, it forces you to listen right it forces you really to listen your system what it's telling you and make adjustments so that you can be healthy well this is some incredible information and it's really great to um, know someone firsthand who is is doing this like I said before I'm I'm really jealous of you man <laughs> I, I need to like try and get on that myself yeah you will um, I you know like uh, Ever since I got into this and started learning about it, and like I said, even just the four days that I did felt incredible. Yeah. They felt amazing. And had I been better prepared and prepared my juices ahead of time with, uh, you know, glass bottles and a vacuum sealer, I probably would have continued on it because it did feel so good. Yeah. Um, I had more energy. I, I felt much better in the gym. Um, and you know, I just wanted to run around all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> there is something to this. Um, now real quick before we end this, uh, uh, if there's anything else you want to say, uh, that you feel like 
we left out about the juice fast? Uh, well, one quick thing that you said, you know, you're, you're jealous, but it's important for you to realize you, you've certainly inspired me to go down this path, you know, and I kind of, uh, it's funny how I just met you, right, at a time where I was willing to try something new. So I appreciate that. It's important that you know that you've played a big role in inspiring me to, to invest more in my health, you know, so that I can become a healthier organism that contributes to the whole healthier organism of all life. Thank you, know, you sir. Because that should be our intention, so I appreciate Thanks, you, man. Thanks, Josh. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, man, that's what we're trying to do here is uh, help uh, shift the paradigm of the aggregate of society, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, once we have that paradigm shift, it will make it will make a free society much easier to obtain. You know, one of the reasons we have so many laws and regulations and, you know, corruption happening in, in uh, politics and government and all that is it's a, a side effect or it's a symptom of of a sick society yep. and we're sick because we put the wrong things in our bodies and, and when we do that we act out and then when we act out you know it, it's chaos and we're constantly trying to treat the the sim the symptom of chaos yeah you know, we have internal chaos, so we have ex external, uh, you know, governance. Yeah, it's funny. I put it that same way yesterday. You know, external conflict is the result of internal conflict. Um, and if you have a toxic relationship, you have to be willing to let it go to allow space for a positive relationship that, that contributes in, to life and encourages more life. Um, whether it be with a person or food or your occupation um, or, or your own um, turmoil that you have going on. Um, but food is a really amazing place to start, right? Because you have the energy that you put in, that you invest into your system. And so you want that energy to be something <laughs> that contributes to long term, sustainable, positive energy. You know, you want to feel good when you're older. You don't want to be sick. You know, these are things that most people desire. Um, so, yeah. Right, and even if you live, like, okay, so even if um, a raw foodist, vegan, who does juice fasts, lives just as long or as a, a carnist does you know like say each one can make it to a hundred you're still going to see that one of them is going to be you know needing their diaper changed and going to constantly need care in some sort of hospital setting um, you know whether it's like, you know, living, uh, assisted living or whatever it is. And other, the other one is going to be vibrant, you know? The other one, uh, like, you can see that the centenarians, uh, centenarians, sorry, centenarians, centenarians, like, that uh, exist in the blue zones, they have a higher quality of life as they live past 100. And they can do a lot more on their own. Absolutely. So, um, yeah, I mean, that, that pretty much wraps it up one, for... One other yeah, thing yeah, I just yeah, want to leave, leave you guys with, right, is you're not alone, right? You're, you're a living organism. And you're part of our entire living organism. If you're unkind to yourself, you're being unkind to the rest of us in turn. You might not notice that, but if you're abusing yourself, it's going to come out. Um, and it's not contributing to the overall success of our, of our species and the rest of life that exists on this earth. So, uh, 